All right, so I'm basically going to run you through how to make a concept map. This will be our concept map slide. You may have a slide already embedded in your slideshow, but I'd like to show you how to make a concept map within your slideshow relatively easy. And the best way I found to do it was to first start with a good size uh, circle so that you can put in your word and that it's not too squeezed together. You can level it to be in the dead center of the page, which does tend to help. <coughs> Um, the other thing that we wanted to use is the square because the square tool gives us the ability to make a relatively thin square. And that's what I figured you guys could use as your lines in between your concept maps. We can literally hit control C and then control V and replicate that exact square. So I don't have to draw it twice. If once you draw something once, it's relatively easy to just control C, control V and move it over here. Your little blue dot up at the top is what's going to let you rotate your squ your square. So if you need to rotate it horizontally, this is how you rotate. And again, I'm just going to size this once all the way to either end. I'm going to control copy, control paste, move it to this side so that I don't have to be drawing it all a, a bunch of times. So now what goes in each slide and how do we put that in there? We use a text box for sure for the first, uh, for the first three, basically. Um, you can use a smaller font. Uh, I'm going to use a bigger font because I'm going to put what's supposed to be in here, which is the definition. Um, the text box that goes in here should have your word in it. And um, just as a recommendation, I recommend 48. 48 gives you enough um, size without it being too big or too small, especially since we're presenting to the whole class. So the idea is 48 should work. There you go. To center in your word, center your definition. If you want to title each box, that's fine, too. Um, these last couple of boxes here are going to have your sentence. And then this box, of course, over here is going to be your sentence from the text. So what is the text? The text is your little info card. So make sure that you are using your info card for the sentence from the text. And then here you're going to have to put a picture. So it's the easiest way to put a picture. You just tab and search up your picture. Any picture will work. I usually just search the word picture, bring something up, um, say this one. You can copy the image. So copy image, move over to here and paste the image, resize it to fit inside your image section of your concept map. And there we've completed an entire concept map for the rest of the class to copy down into their notes. Technically, there you are all going to at the end have six which is how I broke down the points on your concept maps. You'll be responsible for four squares, six words, making it about 24 points. So that is how you make a concept map.